make our way um, to the North Sea and um, from there to Norway. And that was the problem uh, because Dirk had food poisoning. I, I just didn't feel secure just going with two people. So I need a third one. So I was thinking about um, calling my old mate Chaka and I thought he's in Brighton somewhere or in London. But he was in Edinburgh, just a bus ride away from where we were, and he agreed immediately to join us and to make with us the trip across the North Sea. Hi. Hi. Okay, new crew member. Old crew member? Hi. Very old crew member. <laughs> you see us here in Seaport Marina in Inverness, and we are lying alongside um, the Shangle of Caledonia. So this boat was rebuilt um, to tour tourists up and down the Caledonian Canal who want to experience these, these um, part of Scotland in a different way. And where at this boat you can go kayaking, hiking or all kinds of sports recreation activities. This is some pictures um, about Seaport Marina. It was a pretty low service but on the other side also very easy going um, marina. But what we needed to do is we needed to borrow from the shangle of Caledonia their power plug. So now I have to go to the guys and tell them that we we took the <laughs> we took their power plug and um, if that is a big problem. Oi, Kiwi. Yep. Change the plugs now. Yeah, but we are leaving. We want some food and some drink and whatever. So we just change it now for you. And then we go tomorrow to the lock. So I think if we have a day, it should be okay. Problem is we don't have any heater. Um, diesel heater. So we just have electric heater. Ah, right. My diesel heater is defect and uh, we, we needed to get the boat dry. But now it's okay. I just need the electric when I put the generator off for our freezers. Okay. Um, for yeah. a big freeze. I understand. Okay. So so you have a nice boat. Who does the boat belong to? Uh, it belongs to a chap called Martin Balcom, who's uh, he's been my skipper for years, five years. Okay. Uh, and, and now I'm trip well, I'm acting skipper. Okay. He was his way. Okay. But yeah, she's a, a big lump of metal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred tons, 128 feet. Yeah, it must be difficult to drive it in two way. Uh, it can mm. be, it can be. I mean, yeah, so what happened happen if you if you hit a lock? <laughs> well, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> reach it. it. <laughs> what a strong guy. No, we'd break it. We'd definitely break the lock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're 200 tons. And, uh, but I got tired of the sun. Ah, <laughs> 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 yeah, it was always so hot, and, and you know it. Like the north, it's very nice. So any uh, recommendations from your side about where to go in the bar for pubs? A bar, yeah. Uh, if you're looking for a Scottish pub, Hoot Nannies. Hoot Nannies. Hoot Nannies. Hoot Nannies. Hoot -nannies. Hoot -nannies on Church Street. Hoot Nannies on Church it's, Street. Uh, yeah, it's, hey. uh, yeah, it's Church Street. Let's see. Uh, if you walk into town, you yeah. cross over a footbridge, which is like a shaking bridge. Yeah. And if you go straight up from there, mm. through the alleyway, yeah, on an alleyway, yeah. and the end of the alleyway is just on the left. Do you play like music? Yes, yeah, so we go down. There's blues upstairs and there's this traditional Scottish band. That Category C waters. Okay. Uh, yeah, but beyond that is the sea. <laughs> no, we're not allowed. Any further. These are the cabins. So there's six of these double cabins. Spacious big cabins. Yeah, the okay. sinks. They're not en suite. Uh, there's three toilets and three showers. To, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Room. It's always nice to be invited from some fellow sailors to the boats. Uh, it's a kind of hobby of mine. Um, I just like to, to look at other boats and other concepts. And here you see us already for final preparation of leaving Inverness and going to the North Sea. Leaving the Caledonian Canal at Glaffron Harry Sea Log was the first time we had to wait within the Caledonian Canal uh, about one and a half hours and more and more ships were approaching wanted to go with us in the log. 
We had a problem with the um, charts, with the paper charts. I didn't order all the paper charts in advance because I didn't know the route in advance. So um, I tried to b buy them in Inverness, but I couldn't. But I also have a nice story to report. A Canadian sailor gave me um, his overview chart of the North Sea. And I give him one of my um, Scottish charts in return. And the owner of one of the ship shops um, uh, wanted to help me and he find a 25-year-old um, chart for the approach to Mandal. And um, he, he needed to look at home and came with his bicycle to the marina to give me the chart. I was really very happy about that uh, because uh, I was a little bit afraid of the approach to Mandal because of lots of rocks. But that doesn't help us with um, living in Vanessa. I know that there were sandbanks and very, very, very narrow places in Murray First. So um, our plan was to follow some of the other boats and uh, to take it slowly. And here you see two Norwegian boats. And the second Norwegian boat, um, some younger fellows, they don't have an engine. And they will cross the North Sea without an engine. Real seamanship. Great. This is us living in Vanessa now. Heading Norway. Heading to Norway. And uh, soon we see our captain here. Very serious in business. So what do you think of our journey, mister? We'll have a good journey, lots of wind and a fast trip. Okay. Actually don't. Possibly we will lose wind tomorrow and have to use the engine, but we have lots of wind today. Okay. Have you sailed this way before? No. Nope. First time. First time not seen. It's supposed to be rough. Okay. But there is the other. Does the have be in Venice? I think so. Oh, that one there. Oh, that one there. So Shaka, how do you feel being on sea again? I feel great. It's fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah, short shot of the Bali High, this great warrior we followed um, out of out of Inverness first. And by a January point what you see um, at the horizon now. We are supposed to go into Murray first, and this is a very um, shallow point where we had to be very cautious. And we were supposed to see dolphins here. It's a dolphin watch point. You see um, people standing there looking for dolphins, and actually we saw some, uh, but we couldn't tape them. For those who are interested, we um, we choose to stay north of Riftbank South. So um, basically we were near the Navity Bank and um, but later we changed our course and uh, we, we were going into Burkhead Bay so uh, because just we wanted to catch the wind a little bit and, and go sailing. And it was also the, um, the test for the Ginaka. I didn't have the Ginaka up for a long time and even it was not a real Ginaka course as you can see here. I just wanted to have it out before we tested on the North Sea so in case a kind of... Um, uh, accident dilemma happens and we are on the safe side and we can do something on the land. Of course at this point you can really question the approach that we took to the sailing trip. The Murray First on its own is supposed to be a wonderful sailing area. We just didn't have time to um, stop anywhere and to, to spend some time. I for example heard that um, the city of Finthorn and Finthorn Bay um, might be a wonderful place to go with um, just um, very nice sunsets and a very small fishing village. So um, maybe next time. You can see Shaka forget his security briefing and get his sea legs back. And that's maybe a good chance to take you under deck of summer wind. You get a glimpse of the um, passageway to the forward cabin. And here you are now in the after cabin. And that's the cabin that I'm normally using when we are on a longer sailing trip. And um, there's clearly a reason, not only that you have um, quite nice place, 
but via the escape hatch 